So, so the, the big door games, I, I, I call them the big door games. Uh, there were six attaballs that were big door games. Um, Bank Shot, Ship Ahoy, Lucky Hand, Rockstar, Neptune. There's one other, I'm, I'm missing one. Um, I said Bank Shot first. But anyway, there were six of them. Team one, thank you. Which is probably the easiest player out of all of them, when you think of it. So, um, and they had, I'm gonna pull this down. Those six games had, if you could see that up on the screen, um, these numbers written on the, on the back glass that were not used in Attaball Move. The only one that was used was the 100,000 light. So the other lights um, were used for another mold, mold, mode, if you will, called Novelty Mode. Um, and we'll kind of demonstrate how that works in a little bit. Um, but there's always been this, this kind of request to say, how do you make how do you utilize those numbers in the back glass? Because some of these games, for example, Team One is a pretty easy player. And you can roll that game three or four times easily in, in, in a game because you're getting out of balls. And so, and you have to kind of remember that, oh yeah, I rolled it three times, so I get 300,000. Well, how do you utilize these lights to put the 300,000? And that's what this seminar is all about, is how to, how to wire the game how to make it work so that it scores 300,000 and shows it on the back glass. Um, we have this huge adjustment flag. In fact, the rules of Neptune, this, this is like the biggest adjustment flag, I think. Right. The way they're uh, tying together the wires. So that's just one of two. And that's got 14 pins there. That, and, pins. and there's, there's eight or 10 18, pins. Eight. 26 pins in all. Right. And okay. he's not here with the camera. He's coming around. This adjustment plug right here, you see it's got eight pins, two positions. Two positions. Right now it's an add ball position. So that's, that's 26 pins. So it sounds like to try to make both the modes, you know, have the 100,000s go up and up and up and also do add ball seems kind of daunting that we have 26 pins to deal with, but as you'll hear in a few minutes, it's not that bad. So, what happens in the gameplay, in add ball play, is when one person, when the player reaches uh, 99,990, the next point scored, or would be at least 10 points, clicks on the JX relay, which is right here. And you have a nice picture of it there. JX because it's initialized. And what and that does, the JX does two things. One is a just a regular switch on there that closes and simply lights the hundred thousand light. The other switch on it is a make or break switch. When it's at rest, it tells the game, when you have the game set at under 100,000 points for an add -a ball, it allows it to add a ball then. When the switch is activated over 100,000 points, it's telling the game then, say for example, this game is at 90 and 140. When you get 140, it's telling the game at 140, add a ball. Okay, and then every time the game rolls from there and you roll it to 240, it adds a ball. And that all works through this, re this, this system right here. Okay, and this is called ball, I'm sorry, I'm losing, light, light box advance unit. Okay, it's a dual purpose unit. On one side of it advances the balls The wows, and the and and you, they decrease as you use them, but the other side of it counts the numbers 100 through 1 million, and it actually goes to 1,900,000. Okay, to 
in novelty mode. Since this is a dual purpose unit, it can't be used for both. And if you want to make the game actually show your score over, over 200,000 and over, you have to use a different unit because otherwise you would have to disable the add a ball mode, which is counterproductive to, to the game. Are you there, Dave? Yep. Um, now, am I on schedule here? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, we, we each looked at this problem independently, okay. and we had different ideas about which of the stepper units might be the one that you want to leave on the lightbox advance, repurpose the lightbox advance to do one of its purposes, and which of those purposes, 100Ks or counting wows, you would put on a new stepper unit. Uh, turns out, as at least the people who are comfortable with uh, these old EMs from Gottlieb will soon realize during this seminar, you can take your pick. So Based you're saying you could either move the add a ball or move the step count the of 100 thousands. You can move either one. And one is has as few wires to move or as many wires to move as the other, maybe by one or two. Well, yeah, if you can, ask them over there so we can record your questions. Yeah, we're at the mic. Uh, while, while he's walking over there. Uh, so you're going to have a, a second stepper unit. Uh, I think a lot of you guys, I recognize the people who probably have a collection of old stepper units. I brought one here. We'll look at it a little later on. Uh, that, that one happens to be missing one component that we uh, would want to have, but uh, we'll talk about that. So your question? When it's in edible mode, that, that unit is only counting the wows? Right. That's correct. It doesn't, it doesn't control the ball and play. Is that a set, that's a oh, separate unit. Right. This is the Italian system. So it's, uh, it's like bonus balls uh, in some modern, e, uh, you know, the... Like Gilligan's Island, for example, it, it has a separate stack. That means if you have one ball to play on the main ball count unit, you can only work your way up to six. Unlike an American add a ball where you could run up nine, go from one to ten on the single ball count unit. On the Italian system, you can have no more than five stacked up. Now, you can go up and down on that. But once that drops down, then the next time you cross the trough switch, you're going to be subtracting from the balls to play. Right. So the key thing in the Italian system, balls to play only steps down, never steps up. That's a rule for Italy. But the, so the normal, the normal ball in play is kept track by a different unit. Yeah. That's yeah, correct. That, that lower unit. That, that, that's kept track by this lower to, unit. Say if you were to choose to utilize the, the unit that's in there for counting the, the score rather than the balls, you need you would need to have an additional unit. Uh, right, to count the edibles. You only have to count five. That's correct. Yeah, zero, that zero would be through five. Because yeah. now you don't have to find a step that has 19 positions or whatever. Right. Because it goes up to a million nine, right? Right. You could use one that, I, 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 would, I would argue that, that if you use this, um, like this 10, this is a 10 step, or no, it's not. That's a, probably a zero to nine. Yeah, it's a zero to nine something. unit. But if you used a, a ten step ball count unit from a game, oh, no, from, I know what that from an add a ball from the early seventies, I would argue that that would be plenty. Of, it gives, I would say, scoring more than a million points is highly it's unlikely. unlikely. Yeah, it's highly it's just, unlikely. I know. For you, you're a good player. Right? Uh, so do you want to move the adjustment plugs to the novelty mode so sure, we can I'll show do that. people? Yeah. Now, would that affect novelty mode? Say, if you look yeah. left, it, we'll we'll address that. Uh, any other questions right at this point? Uh, so Dave's thought, Dave, Dave was thinking mainly about uh, uh, counting the 100 Ks. Uh, and I, I was thinking at first, I thought, well, there's, there's 10 light bulbs. That's 11 wires, you know, the common for the wiper and then the 10 bulbs that belong to the 100 Ks, why not leave those on the existing unit and move the add a ball, the wow count, into a new unit? And 
uh, this will not affect the back blast. That's why you don't want to just take out the ball count unit and switch it over to the American system because then where you're going to you go past five balls to play up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, you have to do some damage to the back glass or stick a box on the top or whatever. So this, by having the wow count on its own unit, that will just light the five wow lights the way this game does in, in that mode. But just, there's no way to separate the dual unit? Well, Since what, you're making a major, major modification anyway, why don't you just utilize that light count unit? Okay, so for well, you are you're using it. You you're, you're right. using it for in the, in the case that we were the example. I was saying if we move the 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 ten extra counts for the extra score, you would be using utilizing the existing unit for the add for add a ball. So so do you mean there's common parts in that thing? It's not you. you yeah, we'll we'll, two we'll, we'll cover step that. Unit, it's just attached. It's, it's really one step unit. Right. Yeah, it's okay. one step per unit. Then you can't do it. Okay. It's one step per unit. Uh, there's. Uh, some lights that have to be lit up, so you, that's your way to think about it. If you, if you look at the schematic, you can see there's a branch where the adjustment plug is saying either you're going to feed six volts to this wiper that does the wows or this wiper that does the hundred thousands. Well, right away, that should tell you that we're going to have to have two stepper so units. only one set of coils operating. Yeah. Up and yeah. Down. Okay. I thought so, there was four coils. Right. So, from the back. Go ahead. Carry on. So what we're going to do is divide the function in half, and some of the wires get to stay on the light box advance. We probably want to rename it. So we'll use names like the, the 100K unit and the wow count unit. Those are going to be the two new functions. But which of those is the new uh, stepper unit is, is not clear. Uh, all right, we'll take another question. Very quickly for the idiots in the room like myself. Uh, remind her on what the wow count is. What so, wow so the wow count is the name I'm using for a stepper unit that goes from zero to five wows, and I guess we we can show that we can win some wows in novelty mode. Wow means fifty thousand points, so that's why you need to get up to one point nine million. We're giving away fifty thousands, and once the wows light, they don't reset; they just stay on for the rest of the game. Uh, so the wow count is not as flexible as the American system that we can go up to 10 at any time and step right. up and down, but it does step up and down. Uh, you saw it on Lariat if you played Lariat here in the past. And if we, if we move that off, there is a little complication with when it steps down to zero, and as we were talking about a minute ago, then you want to start decrementing from the ball count, uh, doing that properly. Right. Which, therefore, to, and, and we and after some back and forth, um, I, my personal um, opinion would be to move the, the, the lights for the score versus the wow count. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. And, and, and I was leaning towards moving the ball count, the wow count, off to the new unit. So. Is, is uh, it more than just moving? Just oh, yeah. It's, it's, off? it's it's jumping yes. wires basically from from the so, from the uh, stepper unit with the um, to the new stepper unit. It's the, Dave, Dave M. Dave yeah. M. Right. <laughs> Uh, are, we, are we ready to demonstrate? Uh, 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 it, it, it is ready to go for novelty play. All right, let's let's show that. Just uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, now what we want to do is is perhaps show the back glass. Okay, we got the back glass, and we got to cross that trough switch. Okay, balls to play five. And if we make a couple of queens. Hey. And every time you get a card, you get a knock. You want to get them all. All the black lights? Yeah. Okay, so now we're lit up for wows. We have 25. Let's. Uh, boy, it's very generous with the scoring here. 
in this nice digital readout, of course. All right, now we win a wow. Uh, so 50,000 points. The, the knocker effectively is, is like a chime for the 10,000s. So you're going to hear a lot of knocks. And, and the lights are not going out. The wows are staying lit. It now, would be like that for the rest of the game. Just one caveat to that. On team one, there's a gong bell for 10,000, and the knocker doesn't knock for that. For each one, just on, on not on team one on um, on Rockstar, Rockstar. Oh, there's there, yes, if you're lucky enough to have one. <laughs> all right, and if we get all the red, and now all the wild lights are lit up, and this if, if as as a couple of people in the room have noted in the past, I think this game has more wild lights than any other game. Okay, 200,000. Very soon. Ah, well, yeah, the bulb. Bulb up. 400,000. 500,000. And I'm just hitting. I mean, these targets are very easy to hit, so you can see how it's just throwing points at you like there's no tomorrow. Which is why it goes up to 1.9 million plus. So. But, but when we put this. In the new mode, it's going to play with the add a ball rule, so it's not going to throw all those points at you. So 5,000 is the most it would give at one time. Right. Or 15,000 in, 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 in that pocket. Yeah. Which I wonder what it does now. Oh, uh, yeah. So I agree. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's the same principle. You know, the motor level E switch that comes around only one third of the time, it runs that down. Right. You guys had both different approaches of how you would do that. Does either one affect novelty play? Like you wouldn't be able to play novelty anymore? It's Not very, at all. Very minor, very minor. It, they will, we'll get to that. So, um, the key to when we're back in Attaball mode, the, the key to making this work is when you break the 100,000 point barrier. JX Relay energizes, okay? Every time, if you rolled the game now, the score wouldn't change, but JX energizes every time, and that's the key to making this work, because otherwise, that's, that's the power from the switch on the JX Relay is going to power 25, 24 volts to the step-up coil on the new stepper unit. Yeah. So the key to it is that, that JX energizes every time you cross the 100 thousand point threshold for the next hundred thousand. Are you with me? The, the is there a problem with energizing long enough to step the unit up? No. Not at all. No, it just has all it has to do is pulse. It's, just it's, it's tied into the ten thousand score reel and that's got an end of stroke switch, so you got that. So here's our stepper unit. Uh, you've got a, an add coil and a subtract coil and this one There. Uh, can get it on camera there. Just watch my finger. Okay. Now that flies back because it doesn't have, there's an extra. There's an arm in there that it would hold. Switch it. pull off of this pivot point here that would make it single step down. So whichever stepper unit is your wow count has to step down with single steps. The uh, other one, the 100Ks. You're going to be getting enough pulses from the reset circuitry that if it is a single step down, that's fine. Because when this is in novelty mode, the reset single steps it down. So you don't have to find a flyback even if you do the uh, 100Ks on your new stepper unit. Your new stepper unit, you probably want to have more than five steps. You know, go past 500,000, but whatever you got. A bonus unit that goes up to 15, you know, end of ball bonus and hot shot, big shot, or fast space, draw, fast draw. Oh yeah, right. Not not hot shot, uh, but quick draw, fast draw. Yeah, lawman, sheriff, all of those. You could use those to count your hundred thousands, uh, and then for the other, you just got to count the five wows plus the zero position. 
which if you if you don't touch anything to it, you really don't have to do anything to it. You're not you're not affecting anything on that in edible mode. Yeah, and if you if you think about it, you may not win. You may not stack up five extra balls that often. So something like the there's a so-called sequence unit in Jack's open and lucky hand that's got four steps for the different progressions on your drop target bank, S single step up and down. Uh, you could use that. Uh, if you get a fly back and you get the extra arm, you know. You could, you could actually remove the extra arm and just put a washer in its place, actually, and, and make it a fly back unit. Yeah, but if it's, if it's a wild count, then you need to make it single step down. Um, right, if you and do it that way. Let's see. You're gonna, need a, you're gonna need a disc and wiper, but it's only gonna light five lights. Uh, if, it, if it stepped up a little too high, now this is something we didn't rehearse, but <laughs> okay. you know, there's a lot of adjustments here. Uh, so you could maybe file off a tooth so it only steps up to five and then won't step any higher, or maybe, what do you think about or you put the end of stroke on this. Yeah, put on. these little stops up higher and maybe stop it up or, a little high so or, it only does five steps. Or you, or you can put a switch stack on here and, and let the, the pin in the gear yeah. stop the stroke from... Uh, so it's your choice of an electrical type cutoff like he's describing or mechanically limiting it. Yeah, without a tooth. I would, I, would, I would lean toward doing it electrically only because I, I don't like to, to, to physically alter... Um, factory made products, you know, items like that, unless you have to. Um, so if you can just add a switch to it that that uh, cuts the current to the step up coil, I think that's I think that's the best way to go. Yeah, this this has five lights, so this might be an old style ball count unit where game over was done somewhere else. So this this has the right number of steps. Uh, some of your modern ball count units on a single player replay game. They would have 11 steps. Yeah, or you could go uh, ball zero, you know, when you reset oh, it before it crosses that trough switch. And then you got ball one, two, three, four, five, and game over Oop. Off, sorry about that. off the single stepper unit. That would be seven different positions. You only need six different positions for this. Uh, but, you know, you analyze your game. This, what we're describing, Neptune is like one of the more complicated ones. But this should apply to all those other big door attaballs from Gottlieb. Right. Yeah. The there's there are a few uh, like subtle differences, such as the uh, the gong bell instead of the knocker for fifty thousand points in novelty mode, you get five gongs on the gong bell on on Rockstar. Here you get five knocks. Okay. Those are the differences. That's just one of the differences. Um, I'm going to move over to the schematic. So. Okay. If you want to. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we got Are you there? <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this so back. There's, there's really. Uh, you'll, you'll see the pins all over the schematic here. This is, uh, we're not asking you to read it, but all these dotted lines here, these are all different pins in the 26 pins of adjustment between uh, novelty and add ball mode. And what he's pointing at now is the, the unit that's under the play field, because this is, I believe, the one that, that well, turns on and off the wow lights. This zone right here, this is where the interesting stuff happens. So other, other than when you hit the last of your wows and you're subtracting that and flipping back to subtracting from balls to play, the zero position switches on the two stepper units, the two that you're going to have after you do the mod, function the same way in reset. So you just have to sort of duplicate that step down function as far as the reset goes. So um, 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm sorry. step up. Well, we talked about the step up on the 100K already. The, you're just going to take that signal that is flipped by this pin to either flip on the 100,000 JX relay in add a ball mode, the, your one in 100,000 light you get, or it's going to do the light box advance every 100,000. So you've got a signal line there that's going to step up every 100,000, and you just need to route it to whichever stepper unit is going to be counting your 100,000s. Yeah, the, 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 way that, the way that I had originally described to Dave to do it was actually to, to disable this switch and put an extension onto the wire that runs to the light box advance unit and put that to the new coil, the step up coil on the new advance unit. All right. And then the other, the other one is 100,000 points that runs, it runs to the bulb and it also runs to the, the wire on the light box advance unit that runs to the bulb and that can be disabled actually because it, it would be unnecessary. Yeah, and uh, can we get that excerpt of the schematic back? Uh, so, and you can see right there, the fifth position light box advance unit that only applies in the add a ball mode that, that stops it electrically from going above five. Uh, and that's this switch right here, which um, had that little camera. Yeah, Richard. That's a little, yeah, yeah that's, that's this switch right here that so it, so it dips in there. And that's the fifth position. So in add a ball mode, this switch is now open. So if you scored a, a wow, it would not award a wow because it only awards five. All right, so, so you're going to... Wherever your add a ball wow count is, whether it's the new unit or that unit, you have to make sure that it doesn't go above five. And the zero position switch, I don't know if we can swing that down while I'm talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the zero position switch is a little more complicated than you might think. It's got. Uh, three things in the stack and that just has to do with the way that you do that transfer when the ball count it, when you're going to start subtracting from the ball count instead of from the wow count there it is right there and other than that the is zero position light? switches are involved in reset so it's enough light it will keep getting pulses to step down until a zero one of the zero position switches stops power to the coil, although mechanically it may be prevented from stepping lower anyway. And then there's another thing we'll get to later, which is how the game knows that all the different resets have been accomplished and it's ready to go into play mode. And let's see if, what else I want to talk about here. Um, so you, you need to think about the upper and lower limits on both units. Uh, did I cover what, what you need to know for the lower limits is very similar. Uh, you'll be able to copy the uh, functions you see there. So on the new unit, let's say the new unit is the wow count unit. That's the more complicated case. You, you might even want to consider whether you can take away the switch stack that we were just looking at that big stack of zero position switches, move that to the new unit and fabricate new zero position switches for the existing unit, depending on wire lengths. Um, or otherwise, you, if you pick to have the wow count on the existing unit, you leave that zero position switch the way it is and you fabricate the simple stack of two switches to cut off only for reset for the 100K counts. Because the 100K only steps down during reset. Um, okay. Now I think we're are we ready to talk about that line f of things that determines AX reset going on? Well. Anything else to show back there before we go to that? No, I don't think so. Um, but to sum up, 
where we are so far, um, I would say that, and again, this is my version of adding the new step for the 100,000 points. There's 10 wires to jump from one unit, from the original unit to the new stepper unit. There's a wire to jump from the JX, um, the switch on the JX relay to the step up unit on the new unit. And then there's wires to jump to reset the new unit. Yeah, all those zero position all switches. All the zero position switches. So, and, and the coils. So. And the coils, and then of course the, the, the common, the common, the black wire, if you will, on, on the coils. Yeah, so we, we really have talked through everything. We, we actually spent more time talking about it than necessary to try to give you different points of view so you can think about it. Uh, so to summarize on the coils, black wire on each side, uh, is every coil, in other words, has one black wire, so that's easy enough. And then the reset is pretty straightforward. And that can come the zero position switch, so that might be even a jumper right there. Yeah, you the would run. You, I would think you would run a jumper off the reset on the ball count unit because that's a, um, and, and then run that to a an end of stroke switch on the. The gear, the back of the gear of the new unit, and then, to the from that unit, the other side of the switch runs to the coil. Yeah, and that's the way up. I would do it. Step up was that thing I was showing on the schematic before where there's one line that is the pulse that you're adding 100K, and there's one line that's the pulse that you're adding a while, and you need to get those to go to the correct add coils on the two units. So Dave is probably going to start, start and explain how, how this could work off of the AX unit. I think you were going to talk about that. And yeah, well, let's this is the way Alvin the Gottlieb would have done, you know, the Gottliebs would have done this in the factory. Okay. Yeah. When we get the schematic back on Right, screen. right. Um, there is a part of the schematic, and for those of you following along at home, uh, it's the AX reset. So AX pulls in when you're beginning the reset. It's only involved in reset. It's got eight switches on it. And it feeds pulses to all the score reels uh, and the subtract coils we've talked about. Uh, it makes sure that ball count steps up, upward to six, which is no light bulb, but then when you cross the trough switch, that ball count unit's going to go down to five. It's an add a ball, so going across the trough switch counts down your ball count. And AX reset is the thing that pulls in to say, OK, all the criteria have been met. Our game is now reset. And that is about row 21 on your schematic all the way from E through I. Reset completed relay, AX reset. And what it has there is a big, long line. Yeah, thank you. Uh, reset completed relay, AX reset. So the ball count unit has to be up to six, as I described. And right. it'll slide over here, zero position light box advance, and then it wraps back around. And you got all the scoring reels that have to be at zero. The motor has to come back home. And relay R has been set on the hold relay. So all we have to do to get a proper way of wiring up the reset the way Gottlieb would have done it from the factory, that zero position light box advance unit opens it, uh, well, it closes at zero. This is showing it closes. We need two of those because we've got two units now. So this is a brown, white, red to orange, white, red on one, the one light box advance unit we have now. So we're going to take one of those, say the orange, white, red, and, and pull it. that off, put it on a zero position switch of the other unit, and then put a new wire 
between the other side of that switch and the other side of the switch on the light box advance. So we're going to take those, take the two blades of that one switch and kind of divide it like that and put another line in between. So now we're saying that both of those two stepper units have to step down to zero and close the respective switches along with all those other switches being closed and we'll finally pull in AX reset and we're done. That's, that's doing it the right way. The, the cheating way would be to say, oh, we're going to have enough pulses. Somehow it'll step down enough and we won't count it. So Which is the way I would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's not too bad to do the, the right way. I mean, no, no. you've got to fabricate that switch stack for the zero position switches or swipe it off some unit. Or, or, or add it to the end of the, the AX relay. Well, that's another thing because AX has eight switches on it already and we would want to have a ninth switch Anyone if we were doing it? the right thing to give it the subtract pulses to the other new stepper unit. Well, Gottlieb does not typically we're stack ready. a ninth switch. You, you know, eight is maxed out for that, that relay. So if we can find, what are these number 440 screws or 256 um, five, or some five tiny? Five dash 40 screws. 540. If you can find some real long 540s, you could stack it up higher and ride on the top of the nylon there. Available at the Pinball Resource, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Okay. <laughs> that was a word from our sponsor. <laughs> and I don't know if, that, if there's enough insulation there with it at the top of the switch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's close because they're make or break switches. Yeah, so that's a little chancy. I so. think... I think what Golly really would have done is they would have broken it into two relays if they needed nine switches. Exactly. Yeah. But, but we we wouldn't have room for that. The 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 I think that the most difficult challenge in accomplishing this is finding a place to put the new stepper unit, believe it or not. It's which tight. We're back about there. to talk about. It's tight back there. And okay. yes, yes they are. Um, any any other questions about uh, the pulses, the AX, or any of that? So you you could probably just find a point on the schematic where pulses coming through one of these switches on AX could be split off into two places. You might want to upgrade the contact points, maybe if it's not really designed to be doing two subtract coils at the very same time. But you know whatever your conscience will let you do. Um, and then this is going to be about the size of it. And it's sort of like if it could float here on top of these adjustment plugs, or if we could take the adjustment plug and move it down there or something like that. The, the optimal area I thought to put it would be between these two stepper units that are already here somehow. Because well, if, if, if you, if you, you move higher, one up a little and one down a little, and then it would be easy to really simple to jump the 10 wires from one unit to the other and, uh, and also the, the, the reset wire. Don't we have to worry about this being too low and it bumps? Well, only, know, it only if it yeah. opens. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, somewhere in there, I guess you would, if we put some of these, uh, if we move anything, we've got all these staple down wires for the lights but maybe we could put standoffs so whether it's a stepper unit mounting or the adjustment plug mounting it's kind of above right the wires and the the other thing that that crossed our minds was like a little fs unit you know the little ones that you hold in your hand and the the problem with those is it's an as relay it's an as relay and your fs and, and the problem with those is is at the end of at the end of the game, you would have to be able to reset it. And they it would have to reset similar to the way that unit resets on a game like Surf Champ or, uh, Snow, or, Derby. or Snow, Snow Derby Surfer, it go where, where it goes back home. Yeah, so you need that camera to make it go back home. Right. But yeah, I, I would rather have the big old rugged exactly. unit because 
essentially we're copying what they've already engineered for, which is this. And those AS units, as, as you know, the, the only person here that I know how to get them right is Donnie Owen. He's not here. So, <laughs> you know, so they're, they're, those things are hard to, to get correct every time. And, uh, well, Joey can do it once in a while. So. So. So that, that is an engineering challenge because uh, you probably don't have all these wire colors in stock in long enough lengths to right. <laughs> make, make whole new wires. The way, you would, the way I would do it at home is if I had the same color wire is get some, some numbered Brady labels. That's what, these, that's what these little labels are called here. I don't think there's any here. On, on here. On the adjustments? Yeah, on the adjustments. Those little numbers are called Brady labels. And, um, uh, and you could get one through ten and run them. And this way you would be able to keep track of them that way if you didn't have wire colors. Yeah, well, let's take a quick look at the harness. If we can back out a bit. There's some, some extra length here. Uh, so these are the balls, probably. The, what mode are we in right now? In Edible. Edible mode. And do we have any wows? No, we have one. Okay, two wows. And this cutting off the wow lights? Not yet. Okay, one of these. It's one of the pins. Uh, there you go. That one. Okay. So, so those wires seem to have some length to them. That that might be part of your consideration, is if you could keep those wires intact and they had enough length. Uh, I suppose you could move the ball count unit over so that you have the new unit directly under, because this, this is correct. coming from this side. All the feeds are from that side, so you can move it over that way. Then you, maybe get the adjustment up, plug out where you can look at it. Which would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have we... Have everybody we, uh, glazed over yet? Yeah, you should be glazed over by now. <laughs> uh, so we did anticipate the question of suppose that you wanted to try novelty mode after doing these mods. Well, really, um, novelty mode you're not going to win any wows. So you do something to shut off whatever is stepping up your wow count unit. And then uh, you put the uh, plug in the other position. And I think we had one pin. Well, maybe with, the, maybe with the light bulbs, two pins out of those connectors that we sort of tampered with the purpose a little bit. But the vast majority of the stuff in the connectors, Easy. we're saying this mod, you leave the connectors in add a ball mode. And, and then if like you wanted to play to novelty that. mode and you just moved the connectors to novelty mode like you would normally do to play that mode, it would have no effect. All the, 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 any, anything that we've done would have no effect on novelty mode. That would depend on either method you guys are. That's correct. That would depend, that's either method. Well, so, right, you just think about, the resets are the same. You, they're both going to keep getting pulses until they step down to zero. And so it's all a matter of what adds to each unit. So you, you look carefully at what you did for the add coils on each unit. And if in that novelty position you're putting voltage to somewhere you shouldn't, then you have to break that connection. That's it. Right, and that, and that connection is actually made if you looked on the schematic and I don't have it but that that's either plugged or not plugged either add a ball or novelty so it would that 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 connection would break by moving the plug on the novelty yeah oh yeah what I'm what I'm showing right now is or the complexity the of subtracting a ball when you have two different things counting it but uh, let's come back up here so right, right about there, and that is around uh, 14 to 15E on the schematic. That's going to be where you're looking at the step up, which, which pulses go where. And they put in a capacitor. Now, we think that's just a nicety for arcing on the wipers or something like that. It's not, not required. but. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's that's probably exactly why it's there, because I can't find another reason why it would be there, honestly. Yeah, so, here it is. 
Now that you're all like, <laughs> and further questions. Well, I, I would like to find a, a if, if not. I don't want to call it a beater at a ball game, but if I could find a game that that I wasn't planning on keeping or wanted and, and wanted to try, and I would want to try it out, and I'll come back next year with it, and you can all come back and bring your pillows. And, you know, I can <laughs> so, other questions, thoughts? I think you. I, I. I think it would be. It would be wise to draw some kind of you know diagram of of at least of what you did, um, because if I did it and then I suddenly got hit by a bus and Joe got my game, I'd want him to know what what I did to it. Oh, is he the one in your will? <laughs> um, yeah, I. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would. I'd put some pencil marks around parts of the schematic and say C notes and then write up something that's like a separate sheet because it isn't going to be that much but you know took the green yellow wire Jumped from, this from here yeah. to here and uh, it, it won't be that that much it's it's the mounting of the new unit <laughs> maybe you want to write up how you did that yeah and if posterity, somebody maybe. opens the back box and is familiar with these games and sees that their you know the jaw might hit the floor for a couple of seconds till they realized what you did so. <laughs> but it's uh, it's got the or i want to buy this game because it's got this really cool feature <laughs> yeah so this is something that i thought about for years, and uh, um, oh, it's so tempting when you have those lights there. Yeah. So, so I, I hope you like that we we did the research and it turned out to be uh, quite easy and probably probably easier on Lucky Hand or Ship Ahoy. Or, you know, but but overall easier than when I first started to consider it. Overall, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really really involved and it really mostly involves running jumpers uh, so um, uh, yeah and, and I Dave thought it was going to be something with those connectors you know you look at that even even on the simpler ones 14 or 18 pins and a single plug that goes into two 18 pin sockets and you say well you gotta parse out all that stuff and maybe have uh, some kind of Y cable you know, that takes, right. you find a socket and put pins in the two different other probably sockets. And, no, that's... It probably is. Right, it's, it's, it gets, that gets, we're, we're in the weeds far enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so the, the short summary is, you need a second stepper unit. You pick a stepper unit based on what you've got in your parts bin that meets the criteria and... That's going to drive your choices, but you won't be doing a whole lot with the uh, adjustment plug. So it's, it's just getting the wires into the new stepper unit and, and the zero position stack for the new unit. Okay. So I, I just want to take just a second to thank Dave for asking me to, to be part of this little project. It was kind of fun. If those of you who don't know, not only is Dave technically a, a real expert. He called me an expert earlier, and I, I, I can't even begin to, to, to duplicate his knowledge. And but, but also a real historian of the hobby. So, uh, um, it was it's a real pleasure to work with Dave. Thank you. Thanks everybody Thanks. for listening. Thank you. <laughs>